Hey everybody, Alan Peterson here with FictiveUniverse.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you the importance of building a mailing list if you're a fiction writer. And I'm also going to share four mistakes that you need to avoid if, uh, when you are building your mailing list. Now, um, if, you, uh, if you have a big publishing house behind you, you probably don't have to worry about this that much because they'll probably take care of that stuff for you. But if you're a self-publisher like I am, you need to be building a mailing list right from the beginning. It's very, very important. And I've been hanging out at the uh, writing forums where a lot of writers hang out, especially self-published writers. And I'm shocked when I go visit their websites, they're not even building a mailing list. They don't have anything on their website where they're uh, encouraging people to sign up for their mailing list, which is a critical mistake in my opinion uh, when it comes to uh, marketing their book and marketing themselves. Now, so that's the number one mistake that you can do is not even have a avenue for people to sign up and join your mailing list on your website. That's the cr critical mistake, mistake number one. Now, I have seen people who are building a uh, mailing list, but they're also making a mistake. And uh, so I'm going to cover those three other mistakes right now. Now here I'm at the side of Michael Connolly. Now he's one of my favorite writers. He's a best-selling author. He's got a huge publishing house behind him. So he can get away with this, obviously. But you cannot. My, if you're a self-publishing uh, writer like I am, you cannot do this, okay? So as you can see here, we come to his website and there's no mailing list here anywhere. No call to action to, hey, you know, uh, put your email address here and join my mailing list. He has it hidden. As you can see, you, you literally have to navigate through his site. You have to go under here in the navigation menu. You have to go under discuss. There, when you click on this mailing list link, there is now you can join his mailing list. So this is a mistake. Don't do this. Do not hide your mailing list. If you're Michael Connolly and you, ha and you have fans like me who are just waiting for his next book to be published, you can get away with it. If you're a self-published guy, don't do this, okay? Don't hide your mailing list uh, call to action. Mistake number two, and I've seen this here. On, this is another a writer and who's also popular. She uh, she is does have a mailing list call to action on her front page, but as you can see, it's nowhere here. You literally would have to scroll all the way to the bottom, and finally here it is. Register for my mailing list. You don't want to bury it down here at the, at the footer of your website. You want this up here because that's where people, when people land on your website, you want them to be able to see it right away. And so that's what's called above the fold, which is everything that's seen on your computer screen of your visitor without them having to scroll. So if I were her, she got a lot of uh, dead real estate here. I would put this boom right here and then move the, the award stuff down here. I would have it right here versus way at the bottom of the page here. So that's mistake uh, number uh, three. Uh, the fourth mistake here, and I'm going to show you this uh, with Amanda Hawking, who's uh, obviously very popular. She's a, a, big, a very popular self-publisher. And when she was doing this on her own, she was on a blogger a website, which is a free uh, blogging platform that Google provides. And there she did have uh, where she was, uh, at least people could get updates when she was updating her blog. So she was, she was building a list that way. Um, now that she's uh, got a big publishing deal, uh, she's got a brand new site. It looks great, and I see that now uh, it is right here. It's not above the fold for me, at least. It's it's kind. That's right there. But you, you know, you, you come in, you do see the sign up, and here you go, where you can sign up if you're from the UK or in the US. And so, um, so now you can see this must be her publisher that's doing this because the publishing house knows how important it is to build a list. And actually, when you click on it, um, I found this very interesting. As you can see here, it says, yes, please send me email updates about the world of Amanda Hawking and other information from Macmillan and its partners. So obviously, this is her publisher, Macmillan, that's put this on here, and they're building this list now. And I think this is a mistake because they're building this list. They're going to, you know, market other uh, Macmillan authors, they're going to uh, market people with uh, uh, other people's products probably, uh, part, their partners. And you know, when people sign up for Amanda Hawking's mailing list, they want to hear information about Amanda Hawking, not particularly from Macmillan or all the other partners. So they might, this might get people annoyed at her. So that's a mistake. Uh, another mistake here is that they're, they're asking for way too much information. First name, last name, email, and birth date. The more information that you put on this form, the more resistance you're going to get from people to actually sign up. So that's mistake number four. You want to, uh, when you're building a list, you want to just keep it minimal. I would just say 
I would just recommend just asking for the email address, period. Um, you can ask then for the first name, but no more than that. First name, email address. That's it. So those are the uh, four mistakes uh, that you need to avoid. You need to, number one, you need to be building a list. So make sure that you're doing that on your website. Number two, uh, if you are building a list, make sure that you are not hiding the uh, sign up form. Number three, if you are building a list, make sure you're not putting it all the way to the bottom of your website, you want it up on top above the fold. And number four, don't ask for too much information, just email address name email address and that's it uh, my suggestion is just the email address okay so that's it for this video my next video I'm going to share with you ways of building your list there's a software tools that you can use that make it that make the process very easy uh, they're paid and free tools I'll cover that on the next video check out my site at fictiveuniverse.com thanks